and see what we can see in Kiel. So we docked. Looks like the city. There's a church spire back there. This is the harbour area. Tugboat going out there. And over there, I don't know if you can see, there's a few naval ships. ships there's a big dry dock there. I like the fact there's lots of trees and greenery really, really, really. very pretty. Morgan. Greetings from Kiel. Kiel. We are yeah. in Deutschland again. Yeah, second time. Maybe. Third time. Third? Why is it third? Did you not go to Vanamunda then on the Disney Magic? Yeah. Yeah. Now we've been to Hamburg. Oh, yeah. Good job one of us keeps track of these things. <laughs> third isn't time it? then, okay. Oh, I dear. stand corrected. <laughs> it is a beautiful day, as you can see. Sun's out. We have another Sun's ship out. appearing. Yes. Uh, well, might be docking over there somewhere. We went and had a quick breakfast in the buffet. We didn't film it. It was crazy. Port days is always crazy. So we will film it and show you what's available on a slightly quieter we'll morning. Just a bit of cereal, really. We sort of yeah, after that lovely meal last night. Had so much uh, hearty food. I just wanted something light today. But it was good. So we don't have any excursions planned. We're just going to go for a wander into the town yeah. and see what we can see. Uh, we've got to be back on board by five. Let's go. Rude. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I it was last night's dinner. Baked beans. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's uh, head off to Kiel, shall we? Into the town. Not heard of this cruise company before. Anybody heard of them? Colourline Cruises. Colour Just doing a bit of a spin around. Yeah. I've not heard the line. No. Oh, well, there's one to Google, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's head off to Kiel. Oh, look, a proper tat shop. <laughs> Actually says tat on it. I'd be interested in this shop because I think it's got some good stuff in it. Do you now? Yes. There we go. We found a nice church though. Yes, on the, <laughs> on the flip side. Yes. Nice statue. Nice spire. <laughs> it's really big. Any ideas what it is? I'm trying to look, but I don't exactly know how far we are down. So we believe this is the church of St. Nicholas. Interesting uh, statue. Yeah. First, landmark. Sometimes it's a little thing from the UK you miss, <laughs> and you tend to find them on the continent. Very random. Yeah. So, without further ado, it's one easy. It's Woolworths. We have to pop in here. Yeah, we've got to go in. The moth to a flame. Found some Disney. Mrs. B finds the Disney stuff. Even in Woolworths. Well, you're not going to find the Lego later. Uh, uh, actually, I'm checked. I'm going to check in a sec. <laughs> yes, we're on a ride. We're not on a ride. We're on an escalator. <laughs> it's just this ride. Are we riding it? <laughs> we're using it. Oh, look, toys. I wonder if they've got any Lego. Oh, London's calling me. Yeah, I'm not 
Oh, it's like going back in time. It really is. This is Woolworths, not Wilco. I pretend fake Woolworths. You name it, it's here. Dog beds to plates to staplers to toothbrushes. To dusters, to toys, to glasses. Yes, people, we bring you the views of Keel. Yeah. Quality footage, this. Time for the Euro shop, tat shop. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> yep, it's definitely Poundland. It's continental right, version. <laughs> hmm. But you never know, the magnets might be a pound. I don't think they've got any. Or a euro, not a pound. Probably the boat. Most interesting bit of architecture we found, so... <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't it? It's a city centre, Yeah. Clever, though. Do you want to have a go on the slide, Mrs B? No. Sure? Yeah. Okay. And our ship doesn't have one. What a slide. It's disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. Anyone for chess? Born to night six. Who's this? Pied pipe. What do we reckon? They've added a P in that second word. I don't know why. I'm taking that camera off. Looks like we've actually found some landmarks. So this is the town square. Or city square, is it a town? So, to our left, this is the town hall. The rat house. Massive as usual. Everything's big in Germany. Oh, man with a sword. Oh, and the bells. It's quarter to 11. He's tuning. <laughs> and that, we don't know. Oh, that's a theatre. Kiel Theatre. And the bells are ringing. Yes. <laughs> Am I coming in with you? No, I'll wait. Oh. Bit of architecture, my love. Let's be cultured. Lots of marble. And not much else. And go to the spring stop. We have to go to the stop. Yeah, so five or six. Go to the stop. <laughs> Twelve people. Shall we? Yeah. Let's go in the lift. It's kind of pre health and safety a little bit. No, okay. Sorry. We're just going to jump in. Go. You might never see us again. Bye. Oh, this is creepy. Okay, no idea where we're going. Let's go to the top. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> As that man said, this is definitely pre-health and safety. Yes. Does it drop like the Tower of Terror? I bloody hope not. Still going. Mm. We're not going up to the top of the clock tower, are we? <laughs> So we jump out. Let's go. Can you get to the top? Huh? Ah. It'll stop when it gets to the top. Yeah. Or it'll just start going down again. It's all in German. Oh, it's going round now. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it makes a very gentle loop, doesn't it? We are in a lift with no front. <laughs> Please don't lean backwards. No. That was weird. We just came round and round. Very odd experience. <laughs> Floor five, <laughs> going down. As you saw, we just took a life in our own hands on the, the open wooden lifts. That was weird. Yeah. I, I take it for granted here, but that was exceptionally scary. Um, I'm also guessing that this is the time I'm on sure to be honest. No. That was fun though. A bit of entertainment for the day, wasn't it? Yeah, so this is the main platz in Kiel. Yeah. With the clock tower and the town hall and the theatre. I'm guessing a good winter market. Yes. We do like those winter markets, don't we? We're definitely going to do another Christmas markets cruise. Yeah. Definitely. And over here, it looks like there's some fountains and a nice lake. Yeah, this is a nice looking area, isn't it? because Kiel is the naval capital of Germany. There's a lot of nautical themed stuff. The cushions, people's considering a cushion. We're back at the ship now. We've had a mooch around, haven't we? Yep. Wasn't too much to see or do. It's not a massive city. But it's a town centre, basically. We bought some stuff and had some fun in the uh, in the town hall lifts. And we're back at uh, Britannia now. There she is. In all her majesty. And we're back on the ship. Yeah, we've had a, a mooch around Kiel. I've got to be honest, not really much to see or do. No, it's kind unless of you do a just bus a tour regular probably. town centre, really, isn't it? Yeah, but so it's okay. We've looked in a few shops, but it appears that everybody's doing the same as us because yeah. here in the beautiful atrium, we do love that sculpture. Um, you can just see everyone's coming back on board. So it wasn't just us. We thought we'd come back on and have a drink, didn't we? So we're in the glass house. Yep. This is also a dinner venue in the evenings, but yeah. drink is in the daytime, and it's wonderfully quiet. As you can see. I've got a pint. Pete's day drinking. Pete's having a pint at lunchtime. And what pint is it? Uh, Peroni. Pete's Peroni. Cheers I'm... theme park Bazza, here's a Peroni. <laughs> and well in that case cheers to Max oh, and all our other lovely followers. Um, I'm, I'm still working my way through my glass of champagne. Lunchtime drinking, I'm going to be zonked later. Yeah we'll be in bed by two won't we? Um, but we have brought snacks up with us that we brought with us. Oh, beats and mini cheddars. <laughs> Classy us, aren't we? <laughs> These are awesome. Nice. Got to be eaten though, so shall we start now? Oh, let's. That's that's technically lunch, isn't it? Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to Pete after one pint on an empty stomach. <laughs> <coughs> Why are you filming this? <laughs> it's <is> funny. <sighs> I've had a glass of champagne, but I'm coherent. Lunchtime drinking. Put your t-shirt down. 
You pull yours down. <laughs> are you going to show the lovely people? Um, right, clearly all... we're not adding that bit, are we? Oh, sorry, I was pretending to be frozen. <laughs> Ready? Right, very quick haul. Mini, 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 mini. I mini haul. love this cushion. Very nautical themed. It's got plain back. Yep. That was 20 euros. I thought that was quite a bargain. Yeah. Um, and it's from a shop called, I'm going to find the. It's called. Maislan. Maislan, yeah. It appears to be an independent department store that does clothes and homeware, isn't it? And I'll it, put the name in here. It was really lovely. The prices were all pretty pretty reasonable, to be honest. So that will be going... Oh, hello. That will be going pride of place in the lounge somewhere. Not sure where yet. Pete's had a pint on an empty stomach. No, you, you can do the next purchase because you bought that. So we had a look for hats, didn't we, in the shops downstairs. And they were Lacoste ones and they were £50. Ouchie. So I went to this place. I don't know. Yeah, because they got a lot of nautical stuff. They got a lot of hats and stuff. So I've got one similar to the one I've, uh, I currently wear. Which is falling to pieces, I might add. For a fraction of the price. This is why he needs a new one. Which is 13 euros. I thought that was a good bargain. Yeah, that. just plain, simple, classic. There you go. Right, you can take it off now. Okay. And? From the same store, I got a scarf. But it's, again, it's nautical themed. I do love a light scarf just to protect my neck. And this was 10 euros. So again, we thought they were quite, um, what's the word? Reason reasonable, sorry, I've said that already. Yeah, good value very very right reasonable. Yeah. Um, they had lots and lots of designs mm. and colors, but I thought this was kind of classic, goes with everything. This is mine. What else do we get? And we got the obligatory fridge magnet. Mm. This was from some little sort of stall. Yeah. In the main, I'm just going to take the price off. It was four euros. We got these little scroll ones. And we've got yeah that. So that will be going on the fridge. I need to have a massive reorganisation of our fridge magnets for sure. So, yep, that was our mini keel haul. Not yeah. too much, but we've got nothing we're really planning to buy. It's all no, it's just bits and bobs. We if we them. see it, we're going to buy it. So, yep, that's the mini haul for today. We are off for dinner. Buffet time, I think. I can't remember what's in there no. today. They have a menu up every day. I'll show you what I can, depends how uh, much of a mosh pit it is today. Mm -hmm. So let's go and see. Me. Cast, castor and rice. Crispy chili beef and Bombay potatoes. Because I can. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
we're not judging Pete either. I've got roast potatoes and veg. What's that? Garlic mayo and turkey wrap. Okay. Cheese and pickle <laughs> roll. And, and a beef and coleslaw roll. So you're doing partly afternoon tea then? That's what I found it. It's, yeah, I'm not going to lie, my beef is pretty tough. The rest of it's all right though. Is it still busy up there? Yeah, it's not like the steak you had last night then. No, that was so good. Mm, nice selection of desserts, Mrs B. You said get a selection. Coconut macaroon, orange and almond cupcake, lemon meringue eclair, Battenberg, Rocky Road tiffin. So we're going to come back at some point and have a proper afternoon tea, aren't we? Because they do scones and sandwiches yeah. and the cottage cream and the jam and the cakes and whatnot. So, yeah, we're going to do that. But as we're here, we're going to sample the menu. It's so, a dessert platter. So we've devoured some of our sweet treats. Mm. We're going to rate them as follows. We've had the eclair. Nice. Really good. Um, I, most, <laughs> most of the muffin I can of destroyed. Is it moist or is it a bit dry? It was moist in places and then dry in some places, yeah. so I'd give that okay. Uh, Battenberg eyes strips the mask pan off. It was a bit dry, you said? Yes, yeah, a bit dry. Not sure it's Battenberg, but only Battenberg in the sense that it's got Marsy pan on it. Uh, I ate the macaroon. Macaroon? Macaroon. Which was nice. Okay. Very chewy. And the tiffy cake. That's all right. Average. It's got, this isn't a very nut friendly no, selection. This wasn't, wasn't. They do have dietary alternatives so, yeah. and vegan and stuff like that. Two, um, of, the five, two of the five things had nuts. So. Is Battenberg meant to be with chocolate cake? Or is it meant to be with the pink one, like I, a Mr. I don't Kip know, maybe one? it's not Battenberg. Well, it said Battenberg on the thing. Oh, okay. So, um, answers on a postcard. That's Any bakers out there? That's PO's version. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. We've, we're stuffed now. We're so, eating. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Could be better, I guess. Hello. Showtime. Yeah. This is called Astonishing. And apparently it's been, it's the brainchild of Stephen Mulhern and Jonathan Wilkes. Okay. Uh, no clue what's going to happen, but... We have been, cards. We have been given... Envelopes. And it says that. So mm. we're assuming the audience are part of an effect or a trick or something. Yeah. So we'll keep you posted. Yeah. We'll let you know how it goes afterwards. The sun is setting. We've left for Helsinki. There's Pip. And we're just we're sitting down supper on the to have a bit of brunch. Well, not brunch. Brunch. Supper, supper. yeah, correct. Supper. Supper. I just popped up to the buffet and grabbed yeah. those. And we're doing a DIY job. Yeah, so magic show? Fantastic. Yeah. Really good. 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, 13 uh, dancers, singers. Uh, seven girls, six lads, doing all the, all the yeah, tricks really and good. stuff themselves. But Stephen Mulhern kind of narrated it. Yeah. And he appeared on the screen a few times. And we actually did a magic trick, as you saw with the the uh, envelope. It had cards in. Yeah. And it was essentially a card trick, which was really, really clever. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Nice bit of interaction. Yeah, really yeah. recommend that. Great fun. Um, yeah, so if you're on the ship, I recommend going to see That's that. That's definitely well worth a watch, yeah. Yeah, good 45 minutes. I am here. So, that ends this vlog. That I think. ends the field vlog. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for watching all of the vlogs so far. We've got lots more coming up in this series and the rest of the year. Yeah. So, um, subscribe next, and hit the bell. So, next one might be a sea day one. We're going to combine two in one. Yes, we thought two sea days might be a bit much. And then it's Helsinki. Which is going to be, I can't wait for that. So, that's 48 hours away from now. So it's a long time, isn't it, yes. for us? So. so it's going to be lots of relaxing, lots of chilling out. I don't know how I'm going to cope. <laughs> please like, please subscribe. And we will see you in Helsinki. Yep, see you then. Bye, Bye for now. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed that video, why not check out this one here? 
and we also have some playlists and here's one here we'll see you there bye